Hi, Dr. Liz here, and I am sharing some advice from Bud McGargy's book, Soul After Life. I have interviewed him for the podcast, but um, it probably won't air for a month or two, and I'm recording this in May of 2021, so maybe it's out by now, by the time you're watching this. I don't know, but I really loved his book and just wanted to share some with it that's related to um, my own spiritual journey and my path as a healer in this life. So in this book, Bud is talking to a spiritual advisor, that one of his spiritual advisors actually, in like his cohort of um, souls, let's call it, right? Now, um, Bud was a skeptic, by the way, okay, <laughs> when this all this stuff started happening, and he goes more into it in the book, like how he began talking to the spiritual advisor through an oracle, how he didn't even believe in oracles when he started this, like all this stuff. So you can read the book to find out the backstory. But the piece I wanted to share about um, from his book is about taking care of ourselves. I've begun to see my weight loss journey myself. And if you don't know this about me, I lost like 55 pounds and um, so far I'm maintaining that years later and I do a lot of weight loss work professionally and I really began to see this as a spiritual journey um, like you can't hate yourself then okay you've got to figure out how to love yourself along the way so that this does become a journey for you and not something you're like beating yourself up with all the effing time okay um, yeah so anyway this relates to that all right I want to read it so Bud asks a question or says something and then the spiritual advisor says, I believe that you are missing a bigger point. Remember, you are your own creator and you have your own universe to care for. Your organs, your blood vessels, all your human shell inner workings. Every little piece of energy inside of you is counting on you to be able to care for it and help or intercede to control its environment. It ties back to the accountability that you will be responsible for everything that you've created, loved, and understood. And if you're negligent with this, there's a real possibility for things to go off track. So he's talking about like spiritual advancement of your soul and how when we learn to take care of ourselves, that's part of our spiritual advancement as a soul, that we're going to like value ourselves. So um, let's see, later on he says, but you're a part of an ongoing energy. You're not just out there running into things. The energy that makes up your soul is more advanced than you or anyone can imagine. So I just think this is a lovely bit of um, advice, spiritual advice from, from who you, the person he calls Laz, the being, let's call it, that he calls Laz in terms of really learning how to value yourself. There's another video that's either before or after this one, okay, about self-worth and learning to um, value yourself and really feeling a deep sense of self-worth. And I think that is so related anytime that you're trying to take care of your own body, anytime that you're trying to lose weight, right? Anytime that you're trying to improve your health, not just lose weight, but improve your health. It's like, oh, right. When you can believe that you're truly worth taking care of on all kinds of levels, then that becomes such an easier journey, right? It becomes a journey that's not one of punishment or pain or restraint. Restriction. It becomes a journey of like, I am going to figure out how to take such good care of myself and my diet and my choices and um, whether I exercise or not or, you know, what I do in the world, whether I meditate or not, whatever you decide is helpful to you becomes part of that journey. All right. You can see more about me over at my website, drlizhypnosis.com. And please subscribe. I'm getting like um, more subscribers these days. So yay, right? I'm going to continue to put out videos um, and keep an eye out for the podcast interview as well with Bud McGargy. And his book is down in the description. All right. Peace. Peace.